In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do VLOOKUP on an entire column. So in this example, we have agent ID and we have a table here where we can find that agent name and we want that applied to this whole column. So we could put one VLOOKUP formula and then drag it down, but for adding new data automatically, we may want something that will do the whole column automatically. And so let's go ahead and look at real quick what the VLOOKUP for this would be. And so equals VLOOKUP. And then if we check on this formula help, you can see the first thing is that search key. And so that was what we're searching for. So in this case, the agent ID, comma, then the range where we're looking. And so we can just select FNG in this case. And then the next thing we do is the index. And so this is which column we want to return. And so one would be the same column that we're looking in. And then two would be the next. So it may be the third or fourth column. In which case you could change that accordingly. And finally, we're going to say false for the is sorted because we want an exact match. And so there we go. We have the agent name there. And so again, we could just double click and drag this down. But what happens if we add another one here? Nothing happens. So we're going to delete this real quick up to here. And we're going to modify this so it runs for the entire column. And so what we do here is array formula. And then what we're going to do is just change this C2 to C2 to C. And you do that with a colon and then C. And notice I'm not doing an end row reference. And we'll see what happens here in a second. So now this is going all the way down. You see there's something here that shows up. Now if I do A102, it pulls that in. So it is looking in these rows as well. But we're having an error because there's nothing here. And so it can't find that blank. So to compensate for that, we can do something like this. We can put it if C2 to C is blank, and I'm going to do a double comma. And so what that's basically saying is if C is blank, we're going to do nothing. If it's not blank, then we're going to do a VLOOKUP. And now if I hit enter, we come down here. So no more errors. But if I add a, another row, there it pulls in automatically. And I can do again, just like that. So that is how you do a VLOOKUP on an entire column. Before we quit for today, I'm going to show you one more little secret here. And you can take this whole formula and notice I'm not including the equals. I'm going to cut it with control X. And what I'm going to do is actually tuck it inside this cell. So we have agent name here. So what I'm going to do is equals again, like I'm doing a formula. I'm going to do a curly brace and a double quote. I'm going to hit end to go to end of this. So I'm wrapping my column title in double quotes inside this first curly brace. Then I'm going to do a semicolon, paste that formula I had, and then finally close with a curly brace. So we have two curly braces around the whole thing. We have the title here, a semicolon, and then that array formula that we just built right here. So you can build this formula down here first and then tuck it up in here. And so if I hit enter now, the whole column fills in, but that formula is actually up here. So this is great, especially if you want to do things like sort or filter. And sometimes that will mess with your formula if it's down here in the data. And so you can tuck it up here into the column header and it keeps it safe out of the way. Now, one last thing before we quit, I wanted to show you is oftentimes what will happen is maybe someone notices one of these is wrong and they go, Oh, I'll just change it, fix it right here. And then you'll see, oh, it's all blank, what's going on? So you can see this ref error, and it's gonna tell you array result was not expanded. There's an overwrite data in D56. So that tells you that someone added data in D56, and then you can go down there and delete it, and it all comes in through just fine. So another thing that can happen as well is if someone copies, and then they paste it down here, and you can see it's doing the same thing. And so they didn't intend to overwrite it, so they may not be trying to fix something, but they just copy and paste it. And so you just come down here, delete that, and that works just fine. All right, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If this video is helpful for you, make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.